So I'm going to give an overview talk of Envoy and Istio. Um, so I think everyone here already heard about Envoy and Istio and Service Mesh in the previous talk. And uh, this might have a pretty uh, large amount of overlapping um, with the previous uh, talk. Um, but I, I will give you more like context of like Service Mesh, how, um, how they, um, how, uh, why, why they are needed and what, what is it. And then um, and I will uh, take a more deep look why Envoy is used in Istio, that's the uh, uh, agenda today. So um, let me give you more about the context of service mesh. So this, the, the service mesh concept is really created in the web uh, scale companies like uh, Google, Twitter, Lyft, um, so basically, Twitter open source Finagle like seven uh, or eight years ago. Um, that is the JVM lab based library um, providing similar feature that Envoy provides today. Uh, have the retry service, uh, service discovery, observability, logging, tracing. Um, and Google then open source gRPC in 2016. Uh, gRPC is the uh, protocol buffer based RPC framework that can use between uh, used to uh, service to service com communication between um, your service and then uh, Lyft open source the Envoy in 2016 um, Lyft uses um, the uh, Envoy to manage their service mesh they, they, uh, at that moment uh, it still doesn't exist but uh, like Lyft have uh, their own deployments to manage their service-to-service -service, uh, communication. And then Google Cloud, based on the Envoy, we created Istio. Uh, Istio uh, utilize, uh, leverage Envoy's um, ability of observability and uh, uh, its dynamic configuration API uh, to provide the service mesh. Uh, the benefit of the Envoy uh, compared to Finagle is it's not language based. So any language, if your service in Go or in Ruby, in Java, you can take the advantage of the feature that Envoy provides. Um, so compared to Kubernetes, Kubernetes is really how you run your software. Uh, Istio and Envoy will let you to how to manage your uh, service to service communication. Uh, microservice, uh, did, so from monolithic, we are, migra we are in the uh, time to migrate to uh, microservices. So network are really not reliable in the microservice. Like if you in the monolithic service, you're uh, kind of conceptual service to service call is in memory. So it's, it's more reliable than network. Um, network have no knowledge of your application behavior and SLA or like quota or security. So it's only, it's, network is really the packet between your service and service. They, accept, they expect application to do the circuit breaking, like you don't, uh, the, uh, network won't do that for you. And then uh, protocol conversion, throttling, load balancing, those are all handled by application uh, in uh, microservices. It becomes very hard to understand which microservice depends on which service and where is the hotspot when you have, a, say, you have a very long latency uh, request, w which service is pretty slow and who, who is drawing. Uh, who is um, having long latency make the whole uh, request pretty long latency. Um, and so it lacks a good integrating monitoring and tracing uh, tools for SRE teams to understand what's going on. So like the, uh, in the previous slide, I talk, talked about like Finagle, gRPC. Those libraries are used to, um, to and those libraries tools, there's a F, uh, several efforts to do that. And so we created Istio to uniformly do this. So everything is a, whoops, sorry. 
So everything is a service. Um, everything is a service. Uh, in the network, in the microservice and hybrid cloud, you, your network doesn't know uh, what, what the service to serve. Service. So the concept, the service concept doesn't exist in the, in the network. Say if you have a, like one network A can talk to network B, it doesn't map to like service A can talk to service B. This, this is, uh, is true especially in hybrid cloud, like you have one service deployed in multiple cloud, then this is especially hard to map the network uh, segments to the service um, concept. Every service is pretty fine-grained, so you need different, um, you, you need fine-grained security and also uh, fine-grained observability, but also they need to be consistent. And this is the, uh, so here is the benefit of the service mesh. As you can see, the, um, the visibility provided L L layer seven at HTTP layer uh, monitoring provide consistency across uh, observability across the service. And the stabi stability, you can see uh, uh, the pro pro proxy adds a load balancing rate limiting and traffic routing based on the uh, L7 protocols. Uh, you have a control via the uh, uniform policy imp uh, implementation provided in the, ser in the service mesh as well. And the security, uh, to secure all your service your, to service with strong identity. So here uh, is the Istio architecture. So I think if you have heard about Istio before, then you might already see this um, diagram before. Um, so before uh, service mesh, you have service A and service B. And then uh, we introduced two sidecar and all the, the control plane API. Uh, to uh, send the configuration and perform the policy check. Pilot is the uh, pilot is a component. Well, this I think the slide crashes a bit. So uh, okay, so pi pilot is the component here, uh, which is the control plane to send the uh, configuration to each Envoy sidecar. And Mixer here will perform the policy check and telemetry. Actually, uh, recently, it's, you can deploy that with a policy. It's called Istio Policy and Telemetry. Um, and Citadel will provide a TLS uh, identity to each uh, Envoy sidecar. Uh, so uh, let me check. So uh, when service A perform a service to service call to service B, it goes to Envoy once, and the uh, mix Envoy will check to, to Mixer. Uh, this check is cached heavily, so it logically it go every every request is uh, checked by the policy, but uh, actually the result is cached in the uh, Envoy, so it uh, not every call will have the check latency in in there. And then, um, so uh, the that uh, Envoy performed check and that will go to service B. Um, then after all the requests complete, uh, the each Envoy will send the telemetry data to uh, Mixer, and uh, this is batched and aggregated, so you will have um, both uh, observed uh, metrics from client side and server side as well. So um, that's the overview of Istio. Uh, I, I want to talk more about uh, why we chose the, so what? Okay. So I will talk more about Envoy, why, why we choose Envoy. Um, so, Envoy is a C++ code base, uh, which provides the high uh, performance and low latency compared to other languages. The uh, C++ RAII works pretty well uh, as a data plan uh, language, um, and C++ provides good extensibility, uh, accessible filter interface. If you have a uh, 
uh, look at the code base. So the, it have two um, uh, interface layer. Uh, L3, L4 layer is the TCP layer. You can, uh, we have TCP proxy, we have MongoDB support, we have, uh, and also HTTP connection manager operate at that layer. And then uh, you can also uh, write the HTTP uh, filter in the L7. So that one, uh, like gRPC to JSON transcoding, uh, rate limiting at the HTTP layer, um, those, and HTTP router is uh, L7 filters. So um, that uh, Envoy provides good performance for the data plan. And another very unique um, one is, um, so I, I, I said before, it's out of process, so you can support multiple pole languages uh, to uh, allow Envoy to get the traffic and process the traffic from your service to service. Uh, then, um, another one is the really important part is the XDS, uh, is the discovery service. In the previous slide, the, um, so, when Citadel provide TLS search to Envoy and Pilot provide config to uh, Envoy, it uses the uh, XDS API, so Envoy doesn't have to be re restarted every time it get new config. And each kind of resource can be delivered individually without uh, affecting each other. Uh, the uh, commonly used uh, discovery service or listener service Cluster uh, discovery service and route discovery service. Listener is for uh, traffic incoming to Envoy. Cluster is where the uh, Envoy send traffic to. Uh, RDS is how to uh, is kind of like how to mapping the listener to route uh, to cluster in the HTTP layer. It's a route discovery service. And Citadel use a secret discovery service to deliver your um, TOS key, TOS cert, TOS uh, validation context to each Envoy. It's a proto three based gRPC streaming API. Uh, you can also use REST to deploy, uh, to send the configuration. So this way uh, it avoids the per proxy uh, config hell, like you don't have to config each proxy with your own config and manage them somewhere. Uh, you can have a uniform configuration and let Pilot to deliver that to uh, each Envoy you uh, need that. And it comes with, the, uh, then uh, when uh, it's still uh, deployed Envoy, it uses global bootstrap config to point uh, each Envoy to the same, to Pilot, Citadel, and Mixer. Um, so th um, that makes things pretty easy. So that, the, this is why like Envoy as a data plane here is pretty, uh, works well. Uh, so yes, this is all my talk uh, today. Uh, thank you everyone.